Welcome to Padania. Literally, Padania means the country round the river Po, but the separatists pushing for Padanian statehood see it covering the whole of what's now Italy's north. They want a border that would cut off cities like Perugia, Rome and Naples as members of a separate South Italian state. This is a rally, they call it a festival, for the separatist movement, the Northern League. Much of the local population has come out for the evening in an area where a staggering 50 to 60 percent voted for the independence movement at the last election. Their leaders say the Northern League has the only sane solution to the chasm between North and South. Cut the North loose. The economical life is completely different between North and South. The economy in, in the South uh, virtually doesn't, doesn't exist. It is uh, aided by the state. The state is the first uh, and uh, often the only uh, and the employer, yes. The Northern League's critics say that far from being sane and reasonable, the party's intentions are in fact militaristic, racist and anti-democratic. It is a danger for everybody in the country, but uh, I make this uh, metaphorical image of the Northern League. They are like a bomb without the Semtex inside. And it's ready to explode as soon as the Semtex is provided uh, to such a bomb. And what, the Semtex. What is the explosive in that the case? The explosive is the consensus of people, which has been growing up to a point. Uh, we travelled into the valleys to the little town of Sedrina to explore the reasons why so many northerners now want to break away from the Italian nation. With 2,500 people, it looks quiet enough, the sort of place you'd drive through without a glance. But the mayor, Agostino Lenisa, was keen for us to see that behind the somnolence of the high street lay a hive of northern industry. The limestone quarry for the local concrete works, a big taxpayer and a source of scores of jobs. Signor Lenisa took us on a mayoral visit to one of his most successful constituents, FCM, where they make door frames. Gianfranco Gamba and his brother started it on their own in 1974. Now with high-tech equipment and a workforce of 50, they produce 900 frames a day. Il successo che, che deriva da quale deriva la nostra azienda, la quale piano piano eh, è cresciuta proprio perché essendo conoscenza del materiale di una cosa e dell'altra proprio fin da ragazzi siamo riusciti a crescere in questo, in questo settore. Insomma. FCM has grown to a turnover of around 15 million dollars a year. Its owners resent having to pay the government in Rome a tax bill that amounts to 72% of their profit. And whether it's regional resentment or north-south racism, they believe they could never have made a go of it in the south. Penso proprio di no, insomma. Penso di no perché la gente del nostro, diciamo così, della nostra zona non è certo non è non è certo come come loro questo non per 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 voler essere, diciamo così, contro questa gente, ma comunque è è non hanno questa preparazione. Noi abbiamo nel sangue il lavoro in poche parole. Questo è il discorso. Mentre qua la gente comunque alla mattina si alza e produce, porta a casa qualcosa la sera, fa qualcosa, pur, pur con tutta una serie di problemi annessi e connessi, noi abbiamo visto che in altre cittadine, in altre situazioni locali italiane e non, Lombarde e non, c'era questa, questa voglia, di, 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 di questa attesa di uno Stato, un'attesa di assistenzialismo, attesa di qualcuno che comunque ci mandasse qualcosa o ci aiutasse a fare qualcosa. You could dismiss it as northern pride and anti-southern prejudice, but for the reality that tax money going south has been blown on massive corruption and incompetence. Like this Sicilian viaduct, built entirely so that those involved could rake off a percentage in bribes, many northerners have come to believe they're on a road to nowhere. In Cedrina, they pay around $5 million a year in communal taxes. Their new town hall is being built on borrowed money because Rome only gives less than a fifth of the tax take back to the region. 
And what makes it worse is the vast grinding bureaucracy of Italy's tax department. There's often a little group of businessmen picketing Milan's tax office, part of a structure so inefficient that it commonly takes decades to get a rebate from Rome. A shopkeeper like the Faria Roberto Bertini can feel crushed, not just by the 62% he has to pay, but the sheer antiquated weight of the system. Like many businessmen, he believes northern autonomy could free him from the shackles of Rome. Bertini recently rationalized his shop, closing one display window, taking down a sign and removing a pavement flower pot. Each of those three things accrued a separate tax. Removing them cost him a whole day's queuing in three different departments of the tax office. Frustrations like that mean that wherever he goes in the region, the Northern League leader, Umberto Bossi, is guaranteed a reception that varies from enthusiastic to rapturous. Rome's greatest weaknesses are the League's greatest strength. Umberto, sei forte! Sei forte! Cerchiamo di ottenere una cosa. E cos'è la cosa che volevano ottenere? I soldi del nord. Tutto quanto viene alla sua spiegazione. Il controllo dell'economia del nord. Del nord non Yet there's a sinister side to the league, starting with the green shirts who guard the great leader. Echoes of a darker era of Italian history and hard to reconcile with Bossi's own claims to model himself on Gandhi. Gandhi fu il più grande secessionista della storia. Riuscì a far secedere l'India dall'impero inglese senza colpo ferire, in modo non violento. Questo è quello che ha programmato. <laughs> it's preposterous. I mean, Gandhi was always condemning violence. And I've been hearing Bossi in several meetings without the TV cameras or the radio mics. And when he's alone, I mean, when there's no public eyes on him, he's absolutely violent. He attacks the state, he attacks democracy. And uh, once he told, uh, I have two bullets in my pockets for a magistrate which is uh, trying to accuse us of corruption, you know. This is not the language Gandhi used, and I think such a comparison made by a man like Bossi is simply outrageous. Bossi remains a northern folk hero, and trademarks like having Italian camera crews forcibly ejected from his rallies have done him no harm at the grassroots. His greatest test, though, is coming up, with the threat of a declaration of northern independence. I asked him when it would happen. 15 September a Venezia, dopo una festa che dura tre giorni, che vedrà milioni di persone dalla, dalla, dalla sorgente alla foce del Po, alla fine con la festa lì verrà fatta la dichiarazione di indipendenza a parte del CLP, cioè il Comitato di Liberazione Nazionale. No one believes this will mean that cities like Milan will suddenly become part of a new state. Bossi's urban support in particular isn't strong enough for that yet. But it's the seed of an idea that's taking root in fertile soil. Even the softest line Northern League MPs, like the immensely popular Irene Pivetti, are now preparing for a major standoff with Rome. <laughs> yes, <laughs> the, the problem is uh, how do you do that? Because uh, the Parliament of the League and the Government of the League are political organisms of a party. Of course, somebody can uh, try to, uh, to say that they are institutions uh, the embryos of, of, of a future country, but uh, Aren't I don't believe... Aren't you awfully close to a confrontation with the state itself? Oh yes, it's probable. It's probable, but... Uh, as we are going for a confrontation? Yes, I think so. 
The outright opposition to the Northern League's plans is small. This little band of stalwarts belong to the Democratic Italy group, their weekly mission to scrape off Northern Republic stickers plastered on road signs everywhere. This is not uh, what uh, the, ma the major of uh, Italian people want. Uh, we are not a uh, Republic of the North, we are a Republic of Italy. And it is not true that uh, some people uh, put uh, this one. So okay. you fear the breaking up of Italy? Yes, I'm proud to be <laughs> Italy and I don't want to be Repubblica del Nord. It's only months since Italians elected Romano Prodi Prime Minister, a moderate who also wants to keep Italy united. Northern separatism is one of Prodi's greatest challenges, but beyond decentralizing measures, the new government's been reluctant to confront it directly. You must understand my country. They know that they can do that because we are in a period of so-called transition. In the last few years we've been voting I don't know how many times and the governments have been following one another in a dizzy rate. Uh, it's a clear uh, space for manoeuvring uh, for people like Bossi who is very smart, clever, treacherous and sly sometimes and he understands. He has a chance to, to do that uh, without being confronted and uh, uh, opposed by the state. So uh, it, there is a space of maneuvering we, which is exploiting. Created by Garibaldi, the unified Italian nation may almost be at the end of the line. Only a period of stable, efficient, clean central government can hold it together. If it happens, that will be a small Italian miracle.